this session daily update, I'm Chris Carpenter. Coming up next is the House floor session. While the House has seven bills on its calendar for the day, it is anticipated the House will come into session, take care of some preliminary paperwork, then recess to the call of the chair. Let's go now to the House floor. The House will come to order. <laughs> Prayer by the chaplain. Would you bow with me, please? Gracious Father, grant these women and men the clarity of reason to ask good questions to uncover the facts, to weigh alternatives, to avoid personal attacks and unfair caricatures of one another. Creator God, grant these women and men the creativity of imagination, to visualize solutions that do not currently exist, to dream what if, to desire a better life for all the people who live in this state, and to generate innovative policies that protect both personal freedom and the common good. All wise God, grant these men and women the wisdom even beyond their experience to remember that they will respect people better when they respect you more, to learn from previous successes and failures, to practice common sense, to test their decisions against the likely consequences of their actions. Father of Light, grant these men and women finally to broaden their perceptions so that they may see the common good better than the rest of us can or do to appreciate other frames of mind that differ, to share their own viewpoints openly and honestly with humility, to seek your superior ability to see things as they are or as they could become. Eternal God, on this national day of prayer, when across this country millions are remembering legislators like this at every level of government and moments and concerts of prayer, would you give these women and men clarity, creativity, wisdom, and insight as they deploy your equipping gifts of reason, imagination, experience, and perception in their deliberations today. May they together help build better communities in which all Minnesotans may freely flourish. And I pray this in order that many more in our great state will find that only in you can we truly enjoy the good life that you have promised. Amen. The chaplain for today is Dr. Joel Wiggins from Crown College in St. Bonifacius, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. <clears throat> Quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 89th session, 93rd day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Wednesday, May 4th, 2016. If there's no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with, and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Comparison reports. There is a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Second reading of Senate files. Second reading of Senate file 1111. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 1425. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2426. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2430. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2527. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2548. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2555. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2713. Second reading. Second reading of Senate file 2963. Second reading. And second reading of Senate file 3272. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction and first reading of House files 3987 through 3992. First reading, House files 3987 through 3992. Messages from the Senate. <clears throat> Message from the Senate. Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate files herewith transmitted. Senate file numbers 2378, 2416, 2428, 2709, 2752, 2930, 3131, 3317, 3327. First reading of Senate files. First reading, Senate file number 2378, an act relating to human services. Dean M. moved that Senate file number 2378 and House file number 2772, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. <clears throat> First reading, Senate file number 2416, an act relating to consumer protection. Atkins moved that Senate file number 2416 and House file number 3807, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. <clears throat> First reading, Senate file number 2428, an act relating to human services. Creshaw moved that Senate file number 2428 and House file number 2683, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. <clears throat> First reading, Senate file number 2709, an act relating to workforce development. Gunther moved that Senate file number 2709 and House file number 3081, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2752, an act relating to transportation. Halverson moved that Senate file number 2752 and House file number 3404, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 2930, an act relating to manufactured homes. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Rules and Legislative Administration. First reading, Senate file number 3131, an act relating to local government. Moline moved that House, the Senate file number 3131 and House file number 3357, now on the general register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for a comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 3317, an act relating to the environment. Hackbarth moved that Senate file number 3317 and House file number 3685, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 3327, an act relating to impaired driving. Kelly moved that Senate file number 3327 and House file number 2690, now on the general register, be referred to the chief clerk for comparison. Hearing no objection, so ordered. I recognize the member from Washington, Representative Lomer. For what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A point of personal privilege? State your point of personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, members, today is the National Day of Prayer, and we have all been invited to go to Christ Lutheran Church at 9.30 this morning, the members of the House, and just for a very short time, they would like to pray for us, so I'm just um, standing to invite you all to come to that. And it's right across from the Senate Office building, so Christ Lutheran Church. Thanks.
The member from Dakota, Representative McNamara. Mr. Speaker, I've been warned not to do this, but Mr. Speaker, members, I move a recess till Monday, May 8th. Oh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I move a recess to the call of the chair approximately 12 noon, and then Rules Committee will meet immediately following a prayer at the church across the street, um, down in the basement room of SOB, and uh, Republican members will caucus immediately following rules and for Representative Thiessen, I can make his announcement that the Democrats will... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's all I have to say, Mr. Speaker. Representative McNamara moves a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12 o'clock noon. The member from Hennepin, Representative Thiessen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we will caucus... Uh, the DFL members will caucus at 10 o'clock in uh, room 200. All those in favor of the McNamara motion to recess signify by saying aye. Those opposed, no. The motion prevails, and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12 o'clock noon. <laughs>